All right, welcome everybody to a, a draft Premier League season seven uh, captains interview. Our first pair that we're going to be interviewing uh, is going to be none other than the captains of the Royal Conquerors, uh, Ethan or Toxic and Vesuvius. Introduce yourselves. You know what is up, guys? You know we're the first people to be interviewed because you know obviously we're the best team. We talk the most shit. We're the most entertaining, and you know. We're probably the crowd favorites. Not gonna lie, Vess. What, what do you think? Would you agree 100%, with that? Yeah, hundred percent. We're the best team. We're gonna take the dubs. I mean, all these other teams suck, to be honest with you. So I don't blame you for getting the best one out first. So you I honestly, get the most views. honestly, I feel bad. Like there isn't even another core that even comes close to us. Like I agree, hundred percent. I mean, I mean, you know, we won DPL or not DPL. We won TDT season six. A little core going on. You know, yep. we're a proven core. The, didn't we go undefeated perfect season, pretty much? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. So, you know, we're, we're ready to cook it up. We're ready to sauce this DPL up and, you know, preferably go 7-0. Yep. You know, I mean, I'm not... I'm not. There, there's four other cores that might give us a little bit of run for our money, but there's three that are just complete dog shit, in my opinion. All right, so. bro. Let them cook up the questions. Go ahead. <laughs> No worries. I will say, though, it'll be interesting to see uh, your dynamic. I mean, you've worked with each other before. You've won, uh, you know, a draft tour before as a, as a team. And, you know, last EPL, Toxic was in charge of the one seed. And then obviously, Vest, you had a, a, obviously a more poor season than you expected. Um, mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see, like, how you can bounce back and how uh, Toxic can, you know, retain the high level that he has achieved so far in DPL. Yeah, personally, I think we we complement each other really well. Just uh, we're, we're kind of the same style, but not at the same time. So it's like anything he doesn't do well, I do well and vice versa. So I think we just uh, we just make a good pair. So it was a no brainer, to be honest. I mean, and we like vibe with each other too. So we're just, we're just gonna build a yeah. vibe team. People we get along with, get some VCs going, get a little bit of prep going. I mean, as long as you can take criticism from us, then we're gonna succeed as a team, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm not getting any more little boys on my team. Only men. Yeah, let, let's not let's not repeat last season. Yeah, never again. Yeah, I guess getting into some questions. That's what the audience is here for. Um, what are you most excited for yourself and your team going into this uh, season seven of DPL? All right, let me start this off, Toxic. All right. Me personally, obviously, I'm on my I'm on my revenge shit. You know, I did terrible last season. My team was terrible, but that just wasn't a good representation of myself. I think I'm one of the best players in the game, and uh, I think I can captain really well. So I I just got to prove to everybody that I'm him. I mean, for me, bro, honestly, I'm excited that both captains get to play this season because I felt oh, like yeah. last season my team was a little weak because only one captain could play and I had two pretty solid captains. And I think, you know, we're two two of the best playing captains in the entire captain pool. So I feel like we're just going to pull up and cook every week. So, Easy. you know, I'm, exci I'm excited to cook the other captains up, show them what's up, show them who's boss, honestly. And, uh, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm also excited for the auction. I'm excited to build a team that I enjoy helping and, you know, interacting with, you know, drafting, helping them out, helping them improve at the game, really. So, yeah, that, I'd say that's what I'm most, most excited for, personally. Yeah, the new uh, double captain or being allowed to play is a unique change, but I think I do like it. Um, I think, it, I think often, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I think before it was people considered a little bit more broken because some of the pairs were, I guess, not as balanced with other cores but i feel like for the most part um, a lot of these captain cores are, are relatively close um some might be higher than the others and that's why some of them only bought you know one captain slot and personally i think just overall the talent in dpl is not exactly what it used to be we all know that so all this talent in the captain cores you can't waste it being only one player it just wouldn't make sense yeah and you know, if you got two strong players, two strong captains leading the team, bringing home wins for the team, it's going to motivate the rest of the team to work harder and win as well. So I feel yeah, like it's overall sure. a healthy change. Yeah. 
And then moving on from what you're excited for, like what are some realistic expectations that you have for your team this season? And I guess in comparison to previous seasons that you've had. All right, so so what I expect personally, this is I'll I'll move on to what's realistic. But what I expect is a seven zero. You know, we don't lose many games. We're gonna have the best sword and shield, best or ass. SV is kind of a coin flip. Nobody really knows the format. But realistically, I think we make playoffs in either like to the three to the one seed. I don't think we make fourth. It's either three to one seed. I think we for sure because we uh we for sure make playoffs in one of the higher seeds. I think realistically. Absolutely. I mean, realistically, 100%, we're making playoffs. But uh, obviously, I'm striving for for undefeated season. I mean, this whole one seed curse shit, like, I'm, I'm not rocking with that. Like, I'm going for the one seed. And uh, I think that's completely realistic for uh, a team of our talent. Bro, we're gonna break that stupid ass curse. I'm not. I'm really. I'm really not into the superstitious bullshit. Nah, you know? I'm not scared of that. I'm shit, I'm not bro. like that. Nah. I mean, we're we're gonna go for number one. We're gonna go to smoke the competition and hopefully go into playoffs with the same energy and win the whole thing. Absolutely. Yeah, I would say it's definitely not a curse. It's just that's just how the trend has been going. The one seed just can't get it done. But um, I do appreciate your your energy to you know strive to be undefeated we had some of that last season and unfortunately some of those teams didn't meet that expectation so i wonder if you guys can break the mold that's what we're going for and then also i guess moving on um i also want to get your thoughts on the new um format so now that we have a new generation we have four tiers to play in rather than three with you know scarlet violet sword and shield ultra sun ultra moon and oras Um, What are your thoughts on the new format being, you know, two SV and then one of the other three older tiers and then each team gets to choose an extra tier during the regular season? I mean, me personally, I think it's balanced because, you know, you're just going to have to have a well-rounded roster where you're good in pretty much every format because you could have, right, you could have two SV, two Sword and Shield and two Auras or us and, you know, vice versa. So I feel like, you know, you're going to have multiple games in every tier every week. From the, for the most part so I feel like if you're if you have a well-rounded roster well-rounded teams and you really cover your weaknesses so like you don't have like for example you know my team last season we had a pretty glaring weakness in the in the uh, gen 7 tier so teams were able to abuse that pretty easily so you know I feel like this complements having more of a well-rounded team so promotes more of a you know whenever you go into the auction phase you're going to make sure you want to get your gen 7 players and not really show any weaknesses more yeah, me personally, I, I love how we're doing it now. I think it adds a whole new dimension of, you know, obviously like picking which which tier you think you're the best at versus the other team. And I'm really happy that we're, you know, it was a possibility that we weren't going to play Oras. I didn't think that was going to happen, but, you know, it could have happened just because we've only played three tiers every time. So I'm, I'm definitely happy we're still playing Oras. And uh, I like that both teams get to pick a tier. I think it adds... A whole new dimension i think it's and i didn't really want to play three sv games so uh yeah i like that i feel like uh having a format like this i remember mystic kings or whatever they were able to abuse the new format early on because it was only three tiers so they were able to pretty much you know sweep dpl that season because they were focusing on the new tier or the new format whatever so you know this season's a little bit more well well rounded out so teams can abuse that as much so it'll it'll you know you have something to fall back on let's say if you don't really understand the sv meta as much you're gonna have more to fall back on and i think that'll make it a little bit more balanced in my opinion yeah. i do I, I do agree that sv is definitely gonna be a coin flip i'm very interested to see how people will will play in that tier specifically and how they'll build in that tier um and especially with choosing the extra tiers you can't double up um in any of the formats so um each team will have to choose something different so you're only going to have at maximum yeah. you know three of sv and then two of the older tiers but i would feel like um most teams are probably going to lean towards choosing both of the, the older, older tiers yeah. yeah yeah def absolutely the older tiers. another I thing i want to yeah. know is i think it's it's really interesting how we're playing sv knowing the terra types so even if you're if you've been playing sv as it came out i mean this is going to be different than usual you know you can't really catch anyone off guard so uh you'll have to 
prepped for that too, which is different than uh, if you're playing a regular SV league. It's a pretty interesting dynamic in my opinion, because I feel like it's either going to create more 50-50s or the tier is just going to be solely play-based and less prep-based because, you know, you're going to know what their Terra is, so you can pretty much guess their set. So it's going to, the game's just going to come down to whoever the better player is. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't personally love it, but I get why it's a thing. I, I, it's fine. All right, and then I guess moving on. Um, so I guess this is before the auction has actually happened. So are there any players that you expect to have like a jump in performance based on previous seasons or uh, I guess in any other leagues that or tours that they play in? Um, and do you expect anyone to actually drop off um, based on um, a previous, you know, positive season that they had? Yeah, let me start with this one, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to go look back. Good God. Me, bro. <laughs> I, I got to go up, right? Come on now. I mean, you can't really go down much, right? <laughs> it's not I possible. Mean, bro. I was getting hacks left and right, but I, I, I'm honestly so confident in this season, and uh, I'm going to bounce back for sure. A couple players I think that are going to do a little bit worse. Uh, you know, Ace Trainer Josh got a little lucky that season. Everyone on he was Toxic on my team, team right? except for Sharky low-key. Bro, what? You're, you're crazy. Anyways, uh, let's move GG? on. I think... I think uh, Amel is going to drop down a little bit. I think Street nice. Craig Cookie is going to drop down. Good God, yeah. Holy. F <laughs> yeah. Bro, you want to talk about the worst player I've ever seen in my life? It might be Street Craig Cookie. No cap. A little bit of a fluke season last season. There's a reason why they only picked one captain to play because they're both terrible. I think. Um, who else did good last season? Let me I think. Mean, Henrik. I think Henrik's going to fall off a little bit. Right. He had an okay season. I mean, it, it's mainly TDG, Josh, to me, and Cookie. Those three, y'all, y'all ain't that good. Y'all ain't that good. So you mainly think the, you know, like the the budget picks that popped off are gonna obviously decline. Oh yeah, they'll go back to the mean. There's no way they'll have another good season. I mean, a lot of the time, like whenever you get a 5K, it's really the team environment and their health that carries them and brings them to the top. So, you know, a different team environment, you really never know how well they're going to do there. So but let's say, you know, Josh and TDG don't end up on my team. I feel like they're obviously going to do a little bit worse. Are there yeah. are there any new yeah. signups that you think is going to just absolutely pop off? Yeah, there's that one smoke on guy. Crash and boom, bang, CBB. He's pretty good. CBB. Oh, I've seen, yeah. I've seen his yeah, takes on a lot of shit, you know. Uh, I, I've seen him playing that smoke on thing a little bit. He's been doing really well. He's been bringing some pretty fire sets. I, I saw him match him into a tingly with the Sandy Shocks. He brought a little iron defense body press, Sandy Shocks. That was pretty oh, fire. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah, and he, he's been smoking everybody. And he talks about like reviewing his replays and, you know, doing better. So I feel like he's going to be good for draft because you got to do that a lot. Yeah, uh, also, another guy I think is going to fall off a little bit. He didn't play last season, but he played in the season before that, Wombo. But like, you know, he hasn't played in a while. He might be a little bit washed. I don't know if people are going to be able to expect the same level of performance from Wombo as they were. I, I don't know if his sign-up's real. Is it, is it real? Do we even know? I, I don't know, bro. I heard, I heard it was real. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's possible, but he might. Uh, Who else signed up? Anybody? I mean, I ain't got much more to say. Those are the main ones I want. Oh, I think Finch will be better. I mean, he had a really bad season too, so. Yeah, it makes sense. This, like, the players, I haven't really seen any new players rise to the top recently, so. Yeah. Not much to expect. And some people trying to join in. <laughs> Mid interview. Some dogs. Yeah, I limited it, so they can't do that now. But yeah, all right, man. good to hear. Um, and then I guess the next thing I wanted to ask about is how would you describe yourself or your style of captaining in one word? You can start this one off. Uh, blunt. That's my word. Mine is confident. I believe I'm, both very, of I'm a very, I'm a very confident captain. I'm a very confident player, and I'm pretty confident in my teammates if i if i believe in their game plan and i okay their game plan then i'm gonna be confident that they're gonna walk out with the win yeah 
and then me with blunt i'm just i don't deal with bullshit bro if you if you're if you're doing some some stupid shit i'm gonna tell you and if you can't take it then come on bro like we're not little kids like i'm not trying to hurt your feelings i'm just i, I want to win bro Dude, so if, if i'm telling able, you something i mean it like if you're not able to take criticism in mons then you're not going to be able to improve or get anything out yeah, of your bro, teammates we're playing videos. pokemon like we ain't i'm not trying to hurt your feelings bro like i just want to win uh, there's nothing more i want than you to win so if i'm telling you something that means i think you can win i would not care about you if i thought you were trash and honestly, dude, confidence is everything in Mons. If we're not, if your captains aren't you, confident in your game plan, then don't go into the game. Exactly. Interesting. I believe both of those words, though. And then, speaking of the auction, we mentioned the auction earlier. Um, how confident do you feel going into the the auction? Obviously, Toxic's going to be very confident. That is his. Uh, his word, obviously, but are there any like reservations or concerns going into it, like in terms of like the budgeting? Um, certain players you you kind of want that you might not get due to the new um, budget format. But okay, well, we don't slots. we don't we don't want to hey, give away all yeah, our. We ain't people. telling you all that. Okay, I, but but I will say that we really can't. It's hard to make a plan whenever you have a couple of teams with the extra budget. You know, twenty five k is a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a fourth of our budget that they have more. You know what I mean? So. You, you really can't have a player that you absolutely want and you can't really lock players down like you were able to in a previous season per se so yeah we kind of just gotta, gotta bait those gotta bait the the teams with a lot of budget to get those expensive players and then go from there i'd say yeah the problem is is they can get whoever they want because nobody's going to be able to outbid them so really the problem is is there's going to be at least two players that are basically just off the board you have no contestion for so you really just got to work around and see what those two players are before you really be able to get to auction for yourself it'll be interesting though yeah i mean i really can't say how our team's gonna come out as yeah it's really hard to say bro if our if our number one player if they want that person then it they they get them simple as that so yeah or they're just gonna bid you up super high and you're gonna have like absolutely no budget exactly. at the end yeah yeah it'll be interesting balance, though. yeah i do balance, though, cause they obviously are you know lesser captain cores skill wise yeah they're terrible by it. yeah yeah so balance is out yeah let them have whoever they want they suck I do think the baiting strategy will work early as well. I think a lot of captains, from what I've seen, are going to try employing that. But I, I don't know if the auction oh. order has come out yet. Uh, it doesn't really matter all that much to me who's who auctions first, but uh, it, it, you can play around with it a little bit, yeah. And then I guess, finally, we've uh, gone through all the topics. Are there any specific captain cores that you want to strongly beat? Or send a message to this season. Oh, bro, I gotta get my revenge on this iPro loser, iPro and Kaz. Last Clash of Kings, we met in finals. You know, I obviously wasn't a captain of that team. I didn't have much power over it. He was a captain, and you know, we got smoked because of it. So now that I'm a captain, you know, we're kind of matching up fair now. You know, I got control over my team. He's got control over his team. So I'm hoping to turn that around and smoke his ass in playoffs. Hopefully. I want to send a message to those guys. And I also kind of want to send a message to these uh, these lesser captain cores, you know. I don't know why you, you want to sign up for DPO with such a shitty captain core. You know, it, it's kind of like... No a, confidence, a... bro. Dude, How are you kinda... picking to not have both your captains play? You got no confidence. Exactly. You guys it's know kinda, you suck. This is kind of a prestigious tour. It's kind of disrespectful to sign up with such a shitty core. I'm not even going to lie. Like, 100%. Let's bring the right, heat let me... with our captains. Come on. Let me cook, bro. Let me cook. Cookie, you little bitch. Listen to me right now, bro. <laughs> Play my team when it comes up, bro. You are terrible. You you slid on me in that Smogon shit. You were scared to play me because you know you would have got absolutely slammed. And then I agree with Toxic. Like, I want to beat iPro, but another team I really want to beat is I, I, and Rai. You know, Rai won last season, so I want to cook him. I, I mean, come on now. Me, me and Rai always play good games. I mean... I got to beat his team. And then one more is Aster J's team. He won MVP, right? Like, I got to take down the MVP. Come on now. Honestly, dude, 
I feel like those teams are going to be free. I, I think I think our biggest contender is going to be Ibro, honestly. All the rest, you know. Maybe, bro, maybe. Sweep maybe. them under the rug, let's be honest. I want to beat all of them, but those are my main ones. You know, Cookie, I just want to beat him because he's trash. But the like main I, I, ones... I would say, like, I would say I want to send a message to LeJohn and Sablo, but, like, I feel like everybody's nah, going to send bro. them a message. That's the <laughs> chair. That's the chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every, every team is going to be sending them a message. Bad name, bad core. Decided for bought, both captains to play for no yeah, reason. Bought twenty five k Lejon, who went for five k last season. I don't even know. How yeah, to we don't about talk that. about all that. <clears throat> I just quick question then: What four teams, based off the captain cores, do you think will make the playoffs? Ooh, let me start. Us. Okay, you can let go. Me start, bro. Us one seed, two seed L two P, three seed the family. Four seed cake takers. I got us first, second Ibro. Uh, Ibro team, which is L2P. Third seed, I got the Infernal Armory. And then fourth seed, I think I got the family. I think the Infernal Armory is going to let let us down, bro. I don't know, I'm man. King L5 Aster. Feeling, Aster's MVP. L5's captain a while, so he knows what he's doing. Both are former MVPs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whereas, you know, Bates Tech and Zing, they really haven't played in a while. I mean, Zing's been playing, but he's been a little bit washed, so I don't think they'll make it. I think they got it. Should be a very fun, interesting season to spectate. And I hope yep. you guys, uh, you know, find, you know, reach your expectations. And, you know. I mean, you're going to say that to everybody, yeah, though. We're right? bringing that heat. Come on. <laughs> of course, it got to be positive to everybody. Um, okay. But not, but not everyone's gonna end positive. The thing, exactly. So do like street cred cookie. <laughs> do what you can. All right, appreciate you guys coming on and um, yeah. Yeah, thanks, bro. This was cool. Your season. Thank you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Adios.